Well, welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to install a pair of handlebars on your bike. First of all, you're gonna need a stem and the rest of your bike. And then, you're gonna need the four bolts that clamps onto the stem. They're either on the front or on the top, like mine are. Some are gonna be like, wait. So we're gonna be like two up here, then two down here. Those are perfectly fine. Um, and then you're gonna need the top part of your stem. You're gonna need whatever size to bit the Allen key bolts are. Mine are six mil. Most of them are gonna be a six or five mil. Maybe you hear a dog in the background. I'm sorry, those are my little puppies. But okay, first thing you need to do. Make sure your bolts are greased, which mine have grease on the end, so they're still pretty good for grease. And then you'll make sure those are greased. If you don't know what grease to use, check my last video. And that's that's my favorite little puppers. Um and that's you're gonna need this, like I already said. This is the top or the front part of your uh stem. And yeah. So, if you have trouble with your bar slipping, just use sandpaper. I already did with uh, this stem. That's why it's a little rough right here. And I've had the stem for a good while. And if you also do it to this, I did a little bit because my bars didn't slip. So, yeah. Just, if your bars slip in sand, this part only and this part only because that's where your bars contact the uh, stem at. So, to install it, you want to just set your bars with, like, the brace. Wait. It's hard to keep the bars balanced. Set this stuff inside of the stem so it, like, contacts it. And then what you're going to do is throw on this piece. And then you're going to grab the bolts. And just slowly thread them in. It's hard to do because I don't have a tripod. They usually don't work on my bike with one hand. You know what? That's a bad bolt. Bad example. But there we go. Finally got one. Then you're going to grab the next one. Put a little X pattern. And yeah, my bars are down like this. But we don't need to adjust it right now. That's after we get them like decently threaded on there. So then we're going to grab the fourth bolt. Just thread it on there. Then you grab whatever size bit your uh, Allen key is and you just want to snug them up. Yeah. Sorry this is like a crappily filmed video. I had to film a video today. I had other plans but the FedEx truck didn't come so this is the day of you watching the video. If you watched it the day I posted it. You should totally consider subscribing. I usually ride, but my tripod broke recently and I haven't been able to get another one. So we're stuck with, so we're stuck with the uh, hand or something else holding my GoPro. The GoPro phone. Sonny, be good. Hey! Jesus. Vicious dog. Hold up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that dog is fine. Okay, right, now we're gonna get to how you like your bars. I usually just extend my arm out fully, and that's where I usually like my bars. Like just one hand, and usually the, I'll snug it down first a little bit, so you're gonna get this strap for a minute. Holding it, my foot on my legs, this is kind of hard. Remember about the X pattern. You want to go to this bolt, snug it down, and then you want to go to this bolt. Hold up. I'm just going to snug it down and then I'll adjust my bars. You know what? Chicago bars for a minute. <laughs> then you go to this bolt, and then you go to this bolt. And then I. Always run 
a tiny bit of Chicago bars. One second. I'll show you guys. Um, see my forks, my bars. My bars are a little bit, they should be a little bit more back. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Not that far back. I usually like to run like straight up with my stem. So like if I'm like at this angle, you can see both of the bolts right here. So I'm just gonna tighten them down in that X pattern that I showed you guys. So you go to this bolt, maybe. Go to this bolt, snug it down. This bolt, snug it down. Let me go back to this bolt, maybe. Snug it down. And then this bolt, snug it down. Now, I'm gonna tighten these down a lot because I don't want my bar slipping while I'm riding because that's the least fun thing to do. And I'm filming a how-to because, you know, FedEx is slow. But a thing did ship from California, so you'll be seeing that in the next video. And then you go back to this bolt, and then last bolt. Whoop, can't tighten it from that angle. And there goes my little puppy next to me. And there you go. You installed your bars. Everyone starts for somewhere for putting together their bike. So, uh, if you guys just got brand new bars, like, uh, without grips or anything, my tip to you, fill the like grip up to this much WD-40, lay your bike down like this, and just like push as hard as you can to get the grip on, because that's what I had to do with these ODI long neck grips in that one video a while ago. So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the how-to, even if you already know how-to and you just watched the video because you have nothing else to do, which I usually end up doing myself. Whoop, you didn't see that. <laughs> Nobody seen that. <laughs> That's tomorrow's video. If you guys caught what I'm talking about, leave it in the comments. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. ABV out. One more thing I forgot to tell you guys. Okay, so, see my stem. You don't want that to happen. I forgot to go over that step with you guys and I forgot to do it myself. So, what you wanna do if that happens, you wanna loosen up these two bolts, snug down these two bolts, and then re-tighten these again. Which I'm gonna do just off camera. Just wanted to let you guys know that these gaps all need to be even which mine seem to be pretty even no <laughs> these two bolts seem to be pretty even and then these two bolts and these seem pretty even these two do not at all and if you have a front load they need to be even along this line <laughs> and then this and then this so yeah you know what i'm basically explaining so now baby these out